Another common way to, to apply texture to an object in Maya is by using the bitmap as a texture. So, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how exactly how that works. So, let's go ahead and apply um, a material to the chest. So, just click on the chest and apply, and uh, like uh, as you would uh, expect, just click on the blend material, scroll up. In the color channel, click on this box to apply the material. So once you uh, click on this box, you have uh, my brother. Just bear, just hold on, guys. Sorry for that, guys. Anyway, we've got um, what am I doing? Um, I want to attach a material to this the chest. So, if we um, if we look at this, guys, let me just uh, put it nice, big, and pretty. Nice, big, and pretty. Let me, because some people uh, can be blind a little. <laughs> no offense. Anyway, guys, we've got this, okay? So, this is how this works. This is pretty cool. If file is pretty much JPEG, JPEG um, material that we're going to apply, okay? That's what we're going to use. We've already used checkers. It can be noisy, these people. Hey guys, I'm making a tutorial, please. Um, we've got uh, we've got checkers. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna cry now. Let me just, you know, I wasn't supposed to click on anything. Anyway, guys, let's go back. Okay, we've got checkers. We've got this. We've got that, and we've got all these different ones. Okay, then we've got movies. Okay, we've got movie. I don't know if you've seen um, some adverts that look, that have uh, some sort of like, you can see it like a, some sort of a pro, something projecting on a building, like a projecting, a, uh, projecting a movie on a building or some sort of a movie on a building. Easy as that. That's what they use. They build, make a building and apply the movie as the color. Okay. Then the movie will be, will be rolling. And uh, it makes it look like it's actually a projector projecting on the on the on the building. So anyway, I just find I should uh, I just thought I should point that out. Anyway, guys, so that's how it works. Play with them. These are pretty cool. We'll, we'll start making cool things later. Anyway, going back to the to what we're learning, go to file. Okay, then you uh, when we go to file, as you can see, it goes black. Okay, now we want to apply a texture. I've already got it on my desktop. Thanks to Google, a uh, desktop, Rust Photoshop, that one. Then you go to open. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm sorry. What am I going to do? Okay, guys, let me just. Sorry, guys. I know I'm, I don't want. I don't like wasting people's time. Okay, guys, we've got that. So now let's click on the chest. Uh, well, click on the chest, add the blend material. File. That. Last photo. Open. There you go, guys. Now we're happy. So we've applied the um, rusty material to the chest. Okay? First of all, First of all, I want to show you how this connects to the blend shader. Okay, so let's go to um to blend. Let's go to blend. This is how uh, how it connects. It has actually um, you can see that it's connected here to the color color channel. So as you can see, before the color was black. Okay, before we added the texture, so it's it's just showing black. Okay, so it applied the we applied um, the uh, this rusty texture to the black and made it the color of this actual object. I hope uh, my English is making sense, guys. So make sure one um, as you can see here is just saying blend. This is what my my um, supervisor he says. Gardens, you we like your work, but you need to name these things, guys. I can't uh, stress this enough. Learn. <laughs> learn to name your thing so we can call this rusty 
rusty chest. There you go. How create a um, create a habit of uh, naming your um, your files. You know wh whatever you do. Anyway, so uh, make sure you name them. Then go back to my image map by clicking this bad boy here. Voila, going back to our image map. So file attributes. Okay, file attributes give uh, gives us a couple of um, options as you can see. One is the ability to filter this for rendering, which is here, filter type for rendering. We've got all these options. As you can before it was on quadratic and I like to keep it there. I like to keep quadratic because I prefer it. I don't know what you guys I would recommend quadratic to you guys as well. So at the at the end of the day it's up to you guys. So anyway, quadratic is um what I would uh, what I would do. Then you can you also have um you also have the ability to to change your image. So as you can see it's Gaudens desktop rusty Photoshop. Well, from from this page you have the ability to reload, edit or view what you you're actually doing. Okay? Then if we go down if we go down I only have two uh two gigabytes of RAM here so it's a bit slow. If we go down, we've got all these effects, okay? So if we go to color balance, if we go to color balance, again, you've got uh, these options, okay? You've got these options. You can uh, actually um, change this in real time. As you can see, it's changing on there. You can uh, make the, uh, you can do a color gain, a color drop, or whatever make it darker make it brighter as you can see make the bright bright colors brighter make the bright colors darker or dark colors brighter br you know you get the you get the you, you get the idea guys so um that's how that works on top of that we've got the effects okay come on we've got the effects so effects we've got the uh on the effects We've got um, this filter. It, 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 anyway, um, I think it's better I explain that later on. The filter part later on once we um, once we're dealing with it. Because right now you just um, I'll just confuse you. It won't make um, much sense. But the only thing that I can uh, point out on here is the color remap. Okay, the color remap you can also use. The second image map or a texture here you can insert another a second image map or texture to what already exists on here so um so this shows how this texture is applied to the uh, yeah you can do you can um you can uh, do that so well, let me take you to this one this one that shows um this th this actually place 2d texture 3 this uh, shows how this texture is applied to the object okay it's, it, it basically uh, controls the mapping of uh, that object okay so it, uh, for example for example we've got the coverage on here we've got the coverage on here so if the, at the moment is it's uh, one but if we do it point if we go for um, uh, point five and enter as you can see it just covers a uh, half of um because it's uh, 0.5 is less than one so it will just cover um half of uh, our object as you can see so yeah that it's self-explanatory again so let's take it back to one okay so um another one is let's see is that the repeat uv the more the repeat the more um repeat UV you've got. Let me give you an example. Okay, let's uh, go back to that one. I want them ones to be that and them ones to be dark. Oh, that way it's nice and great, nice and good. Okay, then if we go to that one um coverage that I've already explained coverage 
then if we go to um, repeat UV this is pretty much the number of times we want the UV to repeat itself okay so if we go if we go to it's changed it's like repeated itself it's done one layer two layers like repeating itself pretty much as the actual said um, the actual uh, word okay then um, we've got the rotate UV self-explanatory pretty much then you can increase the noise UV like the roughness and um, and so on pretty much self -ex very self-explanatory so if we go back to um, yeah if we go back to here uh, if we go back to that one uh, again guys just just play with feel free the, the, the worst thing that can happen is to fail to do something and nothing happens then you know okay now this is how it works but just play with it and uh, yeah I've already shown you what I need to show you guys so the rest of the the rest of the story just play with it pretty much play with it as you can see I'm playing I rotate UV I rotate it a little bit see so yeah, just play with it and um, the noise, you get the idea guys. So I hope you've learned something and uh, let's progress to the next tutorial.